uh, that video of Paul Rudd going, look at us. Look at us. Look, would you ever thought? Look at us. Mm. You, Yvette, you have this incredible quality of walking into a room and just lighting the place Buddy, up. Buddy, that's you so do. nice. You really do. You do. You, you emit so much warmth and joy. What is your secret? Is it uh, not reading the news? <laughs> is, it, is it pills, edibles? Can I, I get in well, on this? Well, there may be a little edibles. It is legal in California. You know what? I'm determined to not let what's happening in the world destroy me. Ugh. And I don't want to be the problem. So I'm trying to always come in and make things a little bit better because it's tough out there. Y'all know. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, we know. We, we know. know. They know. Mm -hmm. Well, that is, I mean, that's kind of what your show is about. Yes. I mean, Frog and Toad is all about celebrating each other's differences, which feels yes. like something that's very needed right now. Yeah, you know, we're in a tough time as a nation, I think. And, and listen, you guys, if you follow me on Twitter, I'm no longer verified, but it's me. Um, <laughs> and if you don't, you should, because she's fantastic. Um, but I like to throw elbows, and I think it's important when you have a platform to use it for good. And so it's important to remind people that it's okay to be different, just like Frog and Toad said, but you don't have to be a jerk about it. That's so I'm right. trying to keep people on that end. So you're saying that there's there's a possibility that the show isn't just for children. Oh, absolutely. It's it's this is what I love about Apple TV Plus in general. I do another show on there called Shape Island. They have the shows that are animated that look like they're just for kids and they will work perfectly for the children, but there's always like a little tidbit of something good to remind you that this is something you can learn from too. So Frog and Toad is like that and who's who's old like me in here? Anybody read the books when they were babies? <laughs> Yeah, and so this is this was a, a book series that taught me how to read. It was one of the book series that I read when I was a kid. It taught me how to read, and so it's good for that. And I know it may be banned somewhere because it's too far. <laughs> it's just Likely. crazy, you know. But Florida it's, and Texas. Yeah, but it's an important it's an important story about understanding that differences make us special. Not they don't have to pull us apart. I feel like it's a very good series for grown men to watch grown about white healthy, men, maybe healthy grown white yeah, men, Republican maybe, right? Absolutely. Watching healthy male relationships. Relationships does that have to be angry? Anger and gunplay. No, mm -hmm. not other always. Ways. There's other ways, guys. Yeah. yeah. My, my son is seven years old, and he is a huge fan of the book series. Uh -huh. It's one of the first books that he actually yeah. read. He asked, he wrote a question that For he me? would like. Yes, oh, he I'm would so like excited. to. He has a question about Frog and Toad. Uh, Frog and Toad, gay? <laughs> <laughs> When Arnold Lobel wrote these books, and we found out later that it was his way of working through some things that he was trying to figure out where the world said he couldn't be who he wanted to be. He wrote Frog and Toad so he could experience and show love in a way that he couldn't in real life. And so it works as a friendship, and it also works as a tender love story with amphibians. It works both That's ways. right. Yeah. Up to the viewer. It's up, up to, to the viewer. Get what you need. Yes. Get what you need There's out of room it. for it all. Do you want to tell everybody how we know each other? Oh, we, we do know each other. Do we to worked together uh, several years ago. Before the baby. Before the baby. So at least eight, seven or eight years ago. A whole other lifetime. A whole other lifetime. We worked together on a show called The Odd Couple. They rebooted it. The, the, not the original. We're not that We're old. We're not that old, guys. <laughs> The reboot. The reboot. Yes. And you were so funny on the show. I, this is your moment. You were so funny on the show. <laughs> I had like five no, lines and I played a kleptomaniac, a which people, really tracks. A lot of people have five lines, but they don't shine the way you shined. And then you went right from that and you came to The Daily Show and you've been amazing. And I'm so happy that I get to be here with you and get to celebrate this, this new oh. moment for you on this show. You are so genius and I adore you. You know, if that was a, a series regular on this show, and when you walk in as a guest star, you don't know anybody. You don't know where to put your hands. You don't know where to eat lunch. Mm -hmm. And you took me under your wing. You introduced me to everybody. You made sure that I had someone to sit and eat with, mm -hmm. and I will never forget that. Aww. We're good well, friends. It was my pleasure. And this is the thing. When you come on a show, it's your home. You're, someone is coming into your house, and you wouldn't let someone in your house and not tell them where the bathroom is and where to eat. You did the same thing for me when I came here. She came to my little dressing room and said, you need anything? She got me some double stick tape so I don't come out this shirt. Oh, everything's great. <laughs> it was my pleasure, baby. I appreciate mm -hmm. that. You are, are not just on Frog and Toad. Mm -hmm. you're, you're in everything, no. but you're also in one of my new favorite shows called Act Your Age. Oh, Act Your Age. Have you guys seen it? you got to see it. Oh, it is so, there's, I see you. there's a couple see people you. over there. You need to watch watch this show. Okay, listen guys, it is if you, anybody heard of the Golden Girls? Yes. Okay. Yes. 
And young people, don't do not do that. Now, Golden Girls is a great show. It, our show is called Act Your Age, and it is literally like a, a golden brown girl. So imagine women of a certain age with a little more melanin, but it's not just for us, you guys. It's for everybody, men, women, old, young. When I was 12 watching the Golden Girls, just told my age, um, I wasn't a, a, a retiree from Florida, a white retiree, but I still saw the humanity in those women, and you'll find the same thing if you turn to Bounce TV and watch Act Your Age. It is so funny. Yes. It's you, it's, it's Tisha, Tisha Campbell, Campbell, Kim Whitley. Kim Whitley, yes. all three of you are leads on the yes. show. You have great storylines. It is so funny. And they're your friends, right? You they get to work with your friends. friends. In real life. And you guys, you guys watch Martin. You've seen um, My Wife and Kids, that's Tisha's show. And Kim is a comedian, has been on everything. This is the first time we got to lead a show because we're all, black actresses are always like the meter maid, the best friend, the, the office assistant. And this time, it's our stories. And we're driving every episode. And it's been an amazing experience. And it's the highly rated show on Bounce. Yes. yes. We did you the highest. Highest rated debut in, in history. In history. Yes. That's a lot. Yeah, we're off right man. now. We took a little break because it, apparently something called the NBA and people are playing games or something. But <laughs> never we'll be, heard never of it. Heard never of it. heard Sports. of it. I don't um, watch football. I don't do it. I don't like football either. Or, yeah, I don't know what that is. It football. Um, <laughs> but it'll be back. We'll be back in June and we'll have nine more new episodes. You have time to catch up, you guys. Bounce TV. Please watch us. I am. Uh, I have to ask you. Yes, please yes. watch it. Um, I got to ask you a political question. Oh, please. You are very outspoken. You're an outspoken Democrat. You, su you supported Biden. Biden just announced. Are you booking hotel rooms in New Hampshire? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I want to say about the situation. Um, we have a great president who has done a lot for us. If we had the Senate and the House, he could have done even more. So what you need to do right now, instead of worrying about should he be running, why is he running, just get people registered and vote for as many Democrats as you can, you guys. This is, listen, we've already lost the right to choose. We, uh, we can't read books. Libraries are being defunded. They are doing a lot of really crazy things to make life hard for all of us. And if you remember this, the infrastructure bill that Biden passed, all of them voted against it. And every time they need a bridge or something in their city, they're taking the money. So understand that they say one thing and they do another. Another. Biden's our guy. Stay behind him. Let's go. Let's go. When are you running for president? Oh. You know what's so <laughs> funny? My vote. No, this is so funny, Desi. Do you know I used to think that you had to be really smart to be president? Well, there are no rules anymore. We know that's yeah, not true. Yeah, I used to really feel like it's, I, I wasn't worthy of it. There were these, I, I grew up, Jimmy Carter was my first president, so I grew up under that level of decency and kindness. And so the idea that someone like Donald Trump could become president just, just, oh. Yeah. So I would never say never, because I now know that we need decency in there more than we need maybe the smartest person. But it kind of be great if you could do both, and I think I got a little bit of that. But I, I'm not saying I would ever okay, run. Okay, but, but, but if you decide to, you'll come back on this Absolutely show and announce it Absolutely, I would here. come and announce it here. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah.